25 new cases of COVID-19 were reported today in South Dakota. Since the pandemic first arrived in the state, there's been more than 7,500 positive cases with 872 currently active. The death toll remains at 109. Last month, the statewide hydroxychloroquine clinical trial brought together researchers from Sanford, Avera, and Monument Health Systems. And while that trial has been discontinued, all three health systems are still working on other important research related to COVID-19. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Bridget Bennett explores some of their current projects and what they've learned about the disease so far. All over the world, there are countless healthcare systems researching the coronavirus and COVID-19. We really don't know a lot about this disease. Every day and every week, we're, we're learning more, but there's so much we don't know. It's a common theme you'll hear from the people studying the illness at the heart of the global pandemic. This continues to be very evolving. This virus is uh, humbling. Um, to say the least, because uh, we're learning as we go. Whether you ask Avera, Monument, or Sanford Health. I think there's always more to learn. All of South Dakota's major health systems are continuing work to research the many questions still unanswered about this virus. The only tool that we have to, to get the answers that we need are clinical research trials. While the statewide hydroxychloroquine trials ended with a different answer than expected, the health systems say they still learned some important information. Research is literally just a scientific process of learning. And sometimes we're going to learn things work great, and sometimes we're going to learn things don't work as well as we'd hoped. Another area of research the state's health systems are working on is showing a more positive answer to help battle COVID-19. From a research standpoint, we continue to be heavily involved as we were early on with convalescent plasma, where we take the antibodies from people, of course, that have previously had the condition and we're able to transfuse them to those needing it. Through this trial, South Dakota's healthcare professionals are learning more about the safety of convalescent plasma treatments and the most effective timing for transfusions. Information gained thanks to the growing number of willing participants. We've got 75 participants in that program out of the approximately 165 patients that we've treated for COVID that have been hospitalized. Roger DeRod, the lead researcher at Monument Health, says South Dakota's smaller population makes it an ideal location to run these clinical trials. We are approached very often for prestigious trials that many sites are trying to participate in because we have a rural and Native American population and we're anxious that those populations be included in the data. Sanford House Jeremy Cowles agrees the state's smaller population will continue to draw more important COVID-related research to the state, especially when vaccination trials are ready to begin. I think it'll make us more attractive to those companies who are trying to find a population of people who haven't had COVID, because it'll be a lot easier to find them here than it will be in a place like New York. We'd like to find 30,000 South Dakotans who are interested in the trial. While the health systems await an opportunity to start vaccination trials, they're all busy working to answer other research questions related to the virus. The risk of the COVID-19 during pregnancy is higher, so we're following those mothers, whether they require hospitalizations, whether they have complications. Avera Chief Medical Officer Kevin Post says Avera's OBGYNs are studying the virus in pregnant women to help understand how to provide better treatment and care down the road. We are still well in this pandemic with probably many more months to go. So what can we learn from that to better apply to our obstetrical patients um, as we move through this? PPE has been enormously effective in preventing people from get, getting the illness, but at the same time, we'd like to know numbers on that. We'd like to know how good. Sanford Health is beginning a new antibody surveillance trial, testing the asymptomatic spread of the virus among its own frontline workers. It'll tell us a lot more about how the disease spreads, the rate that we can expect it to spread, and also a lot more about how to keep our people healthy. We have a lot of arterial and venous thrombotic events. The arterial events can be strokes, heart attacks. Monument Health is starting a new randomized trial next week, investigating the higher rate of blood clots and strokes among COVID-19 patients in the ICU. The Rapid City Hospital is also conducting trials to learn the effectiveness of a new medication for treating the sickest COVID-19 patients. If you are diagnosed with COVID, um, clinical research trials are the sword that you fight back against. Randomized clinical trials are the only kind of trials that give us a definitive answer that we can hang our hat on and use to treat future patients. 
continued research to find those solid answers to help lead us through this pandemic. With Eye on Kettleland, I'm Bridget Bennett. The research going on now isn't solely centered on the coronavirus, but also other health impacts that the pandemic may have. For instance, Avera Health is conducting a long-term study on what the social changes like decreased activity and increased screen time during the pandemic will mean for childhood obesity rates and other health factors in children.